give me good news. I got good and bad news. Which I'll, one do you want first? On the scale of one to ten, how ten being I don't want to know how bad is the bad news. Seven and a half. You want good news or bad news first? Off camera. <laughs> Off camera? Yeah. Off camera. Off camera, sorry. If, if the watch and the papers and everything comes in, I'll have it shipped to LA Friday or Saturday, and then I'll fly out here and I'll pick it up and, and come deliver it to you. All right, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. So balance of 50,000. Busy morning already, guys. Welcome to another day in my life. Today's gonna be a busy one. Uh, I've been up working since about 6 a.m. Jimmy's been up working since about 6.30 as well. Brian's been editing. We're about to rush over. We gotta go get back to the penthouse, stop by FedEx, get packing material, go check out the new penthouse, uh, meet the designer, come back. Malk is gonna come pick up the inventory. We gotta get it all packed up for that. Then we've got the safe delivery guys coming to pick up. And then what else do we have? There's a couple other things before our flight back to Dallas. So here we go. So tell me a little bit about the playhouse. All right. So it's, it's, spot. <laughs> it's all there is to it. There's two areas that we want, I, I would like staged as an office. Like okay. one is an office, one is more of a lounge, you need like a nice lounge. And it's the, it's the third floor where there's a kitchenette. I brought the floor plans too, so we can kind of make some notes and... As far as that big, like right when you walk in, that big formal space. Yep. I, I think we want to leave that as a formal space. Yeah. But then the other kitchen along, around where the movie theater's at, uh -huh. that I want to be more, I want it to feel more intimate, more, more homey, more personal. Yeah. Style. That design, I love it. Yeah. I love the colors, the plants. Yeah, like sexy, masculine, but comfortable. Soft, yeah, yeah exactly. And there was one other for like the office portion. Yeah, and I see we're sticking like in the neutrals, like okay. nothing too like or too like dark. It. Let's do it. So we're going up to 50, uh, 52. Uh, there is an access on the key for whoever rents this penthouse. Obviously, we're going straight up. It comes to you empty. It goes wherever you want, no stops. So it's gotcha. a VIP. Um, Perfect. Let me show you the the office okay. area. Do you guys have a key to this elevator? Because we have never been able to use it. You get a little red rope right here, red carpet for our clients to go in straight to the store. Don't do anything small, huh? Wait till you see it. This is I had to drop living. a pin to Jimmy the other day because I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an idea on this space. What would you do with this? This is where you're showcasing the home. I see, you know, lounge space here, dining here, lounge space here. Everything is more or less oriented towards each other in conversation, but also oriented to the view. Yes. Um, you have dining for at least 12, 14 people. When there's a party, this is the space that they're right. in. And this is really more akin to like a luxury hotel space, less of a home, like you were saying, that's kind of like cozy. That's where you kick off your shoes and watch TV. This is where, this is where you host, this is where you show off. Exactly. Yeah. Now this, this is where we'll spend time living. I love when I walk into a home and there's just trees and mm -hmm. I like just go crazy with the plants. I have two chairs facing in. They can even swivel towards the TV as well. This is just really cozy lounge space. I would Probably do, sectional. I would skip the chairs uh -huh. and a massive oversized sectional. Okay. And then a big coffee table. And that's okay. It. And that's it. Keep it simple. Simple. Big tree. Yeah. Maybe a big tree right there. I mean, that, Okay. Large dining room table right here. I know out here we were talking about a round dining table. Okay. I want to sit and have a big round dinner table yeah. right here to where everyone at the table is facing someone. Mm. The problem, I, the thing I hate about long tables yeah. is if I'm down here, I never get to talk down nice. there. Okay, I, nice round, nice it's nice kind of intimate. If you do a massive, you do a massive feast, it all goes in the center. It just looks cool and then everyone gets this kind of view. What we had envisioned for the second floor, that Sky Lounge that has the bar upstairs, is a game room, so pool table, or if you want to do like a basketball setup, you could do like the mini hoop, you could do, you know, shuffleboard, 
poker table. What we had envisioned in here, um, I'll have to show you, it's like this sort of black velvet square tufted sofa with the two club chairs in front all matching. It's got a little bit of a, a brass trim along the bottom. What would be up top? The sofa. Yeah, sofa up top, chairs in the front. Okay. How many chairs across? One row, two? I think really space-wise you're getting, well, staging we can play around with too. They should do a bunch of lost socks. Thought about that too. What do you think? She's the designer. And the sofas go, would go up here? It would, yeah. How many, is it like an oversized sofa or is it, how many people do you think it fits? Uh, I think you've got probably three people to the sofa. Okay. Yeah. What if you did the sofa, the chairs, they're not going to be taller no. to where they would sit over the sofa, Absolutely. right? Like they, they would, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what if you did three up there and then a row of three chairs right here and then the extra can be like just kind of the just love sex. I love love sex. <laughs> it's like college dormy style, but right? they were here yesterday at the event and I, I want some love sex. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool if there was a shelf or like a mini bar. Mm -hmm. Mini bar snacks that there's storage right here so people didn't have to go into the kitchen. Here we're, we know we're having people over for a movie night. Mm -hmm. Stuff can be set out right here and nobody has to get up and go. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. This would be where I'd say like get really cool and creative. Maybe I'd make this part of books, art. I thought about going out and buying a hundred pairs of stylish shoes so I can have my own little miniature shoe store in here. We can figure the closets out later, but yeah. oh, oh, I want to turf this. Yes, yeah, it's we don't have to do a full Anywhere full you see gym. We could do like a, you know, we could do a um, more of a functional style gym, like smaller equipment. I mean, this is still a lot of space. Bro, yeah. Oh yeah. Free weight. We don't have to have a squat rack and a bench press and all that here. It'd be on the days that it's cooler, or even for evening. Yeah. Well, so I, yeah, but I work out at six a.m. We did talk about a cool cabana. Right here? For sure. Like a pool style, Vegas pool style cabana. And then just lounge chairs right there. A freestanding cabana that goes over a like a seating area yes. or like chaise lounges that have the sort of top to them. Yeah. Have a top. But yeah. with like chaise lounges underneath or like a sofa like a lounge space? Like a bed. A bed like a big okay. bed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two or three, four people could lay on one big thing. Okay. Could we do a little outdoor bar right here? Okay. Yeah, I'll see what's available. This would all just be lounge by the fire or lounge by the view. And some trees. Tons of trees. I like the idea of having a big tree right there, a big tree here, a big tree in that corner, a massive tree in that corner. Yeah, and that's just going to completely soften the space for sure. Yes. I want tons of greenery up here. Actually, the more greenery in this area, the better. And then this, you don't have to worry about any of this because this is where we'll actually do the showcase. Okay. And we'll have we'll have our designers come in here and do make a mock a mock uh, showroom of what we've got in Dallas. Amazing. I would love some kind of you know those round day beds that I don't know, just just something comfortable where I can actually sit out here and like take a break from work, decompress. A round that like kinda comes up and over it? Or like more of like an egg? Cut in like half. the egg, yes. Okay. In the middle of the day when I'm having lunch, just come sit up here and just kind of decompress from the office for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, so I was just like said he said the ownership will take uh, hundred thousand yeah. a month unfurnished. Unfurnished, yeah. okay. And and she's approximately the furniture will cost. Um, we're looking at thirteen to twenty five depending on art and furniture. So if I say my budget's twenty five, the pictures I sent you, you could probably stage this whole place. No problem. I think we got that, yeah. You, you asked about one or two years. Right. Or one year with two year and 90? I'd rather get 90 than use some of that money to get the furniture. Okay, I'm trying I'll to take it right. two, trying two years for 90. Yeah. Now, was okay. his offer was his, was his offer 100 on a one year term? One year. Right. Okay, then we'll, so do two, go back we'll do two years for 90. That's right. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let me shake. I know it's and, not um, official. Regarding <laughs> security deposit. 
So that would uh, reflect? I mean, obviously we'll take a look at the financials based on the decision that they want to make after knowing the entire situation. Sure. Um, it's anywhere from half a month to a month. So just yeah. tell them I'll put up a month. I don't want any questions. Okay. That's no problem. 90,000 a month for two years. Right. Let's do it. See, this, this is why this guy's a great business guy. <laughs> Jesus, upcharge. I'm, right right I'm already planning on the first big party to pay for this. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm very excited. This is Best literally. Property I, in Los I told him when we started this venture like six months ago, I was like, when we moved to LA, we've got to come up with a concept. This is not even the concept. This just literally happened as a part of Ellis saying, hey, you think this penthouse is cool? Let me show you what else I got. And, and I was like, all right. He's like, hey, just so you know, we're going to I was like, go, <laughs> let me know how right. it goes. <laughs> we just wanted to see him get like some free content, but. Like hey. what it turned into. Yeah. You never yeah, know. Yeah, he sent me the video. But we're bringing another. <laughs> so I told him when I was like, whenever we move to LA, we have to bring it up. We have to bring a concept that is different, that makes us stand out. Mm -hmm and that nobody else will do because if you walk three blocks down to South Hill Street or to the Jewelry District, there's a hundred guys with more money than us and how do we blow them away? So now this is going to add on to the other concepts we're bringing. All right, let's get, let's, let's get it on, let's get it going.